An amazing new book is out about the world's only museum featuring the contribution of women to the history of art. We're talking about the National Museum of Women in the Arts here in Washington, D.C. And the book is called A Museum of Their Own. With us now is museum founder and author, Wilhelmina Cole Holliday, and it is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. When you look at the finished product, the book, a museum of their own, after all of the months and years it <laughs> took to put it together, your first impression? Relief. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is wonderful. Abbeville uh, Publishing Company did it, and I think they did a beautiful job. And they've been wonderful people to work with. So it was exciting to have it completed. Not only the the history of the museum and your founding it, but 130 beautiful photographs of some of the images uh, from exhibitions, the collection, the permanent collection, whatever. So it's a real great holiday gift. I know you can say that very well. Let me start with this, a museum of their own. We're not talking, and a lot of people are surprised to understand, we're not talking about women and their images in the art, but a museum celebrating women as creators of art and it had never been done before. No, really, you know, when you're left out of the popular writings, you're forgotten, and the first woman to be writing about art was in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. But women were producing art with great success from the Renaissance on, not as many as men. But, um, for instance, uh, Lavinia Fontana, was a Renaissance painter, and the Pope had her come and be the Vatican painter. Mm. And her work is just beautiful. She was the leading artist of Bologna. Um, so it's until we opened, there was not one woman in Janssen's history of art, which was the text used in every college and university in our country. So people who studied history of art until the year we opened, which mm -hmm. was 1987, absolutely did not know women artists. In the years before that, I remember when I covered the building and the uh, tearing down and renovation of the new location of the National Museum of Women in the Arts, it was mostly in your home, the collection that is all part of the permanent <laughs> collection. Did you ever at any time have any doubt that this museum would come to fruition? You know, I never did. <laughs> Uh, as a matter of fact, I honestly think the museum was meant to be. I was never a fatalist. But the wonderful, wonderful tradition we Americans have of volunteerism and philanthropy is I've been helped by thousands mm -hmm. of people. And, uh, and that's, that's what made it happen. One critic, the Washington Post, says when you were talk about how many people have helped you, he said, no player in the art scene here has a deeper understanding of power and money and of how our system works. Talking about you, how did you make it work for you? Because I'm <laughs> proud to say I'm on your board of trustees. And, and you say when you go and approach people to let them know about the museum, you never ask for money. No, I think... Um I think you have to uh, be a good salesperson and believe in what you're doing totally. But I found that when you present it properly and sell your product properly, people come to you and they do contribute and they have contributed. We are one of the 10 largest museums in the world when measured by membership. And we've worked very hard to create a presence throughout our country. Our members come from every state and 25 countries. So um, I think we were cause related and, and that made it easier for us perhaps than some of the other museums. But the very fact that we created, I think we're the only museum that has created committees in mm -hmm. other states and we have a committee in Madrid, London, Milano, Prague. What exciting time for the inaugural weekend with four to five million people coming. They'll want a place to go and they'll find a home at the National Museum of the Arts. That's got to spread the word as well. You know, I'm so excited <laughs> about it because it obviously is going to uh, increase our presence throughout the country, a greater knowledge and so forth. It's very exciting. That, and. 
And the president-elect has used our museum twice for events, and that's been exciting. So I, I think that this is wonderful for our museum, as it is for the country. Absolutely. Well, Amelia Cole Holiday, thank you for being with us.